let m be the largest real solution to the equation 3 over x minus 3 plus 5 over x minus 5 plus 17 over x minus 17 plus 19 over x minus 19 equals x squared minus 11x minus 4. There are positive integers a, b, and c such that m equals a plus root b plus root c. Find a plus b plus c. Okay, so at first glance, this equation doesn't look super easy to deal with. Um, like, for example, 3 over x minus 3, 5 over x minus 5, 17 over x minus 17, 19 over x minus 19. It's not clear what to do with these. Um, so the first thing we do is we sort of make things a little bit easier for ourselves. And the way we do this is we rewrite um, this fraction in a different way. In particular, we have 3 over x minus 3 is equal to x over x minus 3 minus x minus 3 over x minus 3, which is equal to x over x minus 3 minus 1. The way I'm writing it like this will become obvious in a second. OK, then we have 5 over x minus 5 equals x over x minus 5 minus 1 for the same reason, and 17 over x minus 17 is equal to x over x minus 17 minus 1. Again, for the exact same reason, 19 over x minus 19 is equal to x over x minus 19 minus 1. So where does that bring us? Well, the left-hand side is the sum of these four fractions, which means it's the sum of this one, this one, that one, and that one. So let's add them together and see what we get. We end up with x over x minus 3 plus x over x minus 5 plus x over x minus 17 plus x over x minus 19 minus 4. And we're given this is equal to x squared minus 11x minus 4. And this is where the first magic step begins. We see this negative 4 on both sides. We can add 4 to both sides, get rid of that negative 4. Furthermore, we also notice that both sides are a multiple of x, so we can divide both sides by x. And we end up with 1 over x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 17 plus 1 over x minus 19 is equal to x minus 11. And thus, we've just simplified this down a lot. OK, so what's our next step? Well, our next step is, well, we don't see any apparent way to deal with this equation right now. But we notice that on this right-hand side, we have x minus 11. And you can sort of see the average of 3 and 19 is 11. The average of 5 and 17 is 11. And this prompts us to make another substitution. Namely, a is equal to, shouldn't, shouldn't use the variable a, it's really being used. Let's say y is equal to x minus 11. So y is equal to x minus 11. And what does this? This, this equation turned into, it turns into 1 over y plus 8 plus 1 over y plus 6 plus 1 over y plus 4. No, y minus 6, excuse me. 1 over y minus 6 plus 1 over y minus 8. This is equal to y. And the next thing we do is we sort of combine these two and we combine these two together. Um, so we add 1 over y plus 8, 1 over y minus 8, we get y minus 8 over y plus 8 times y minus 8 plus y plus 8 over y plus 8, y minus 8. And then we combine these two middle terms and we get plus y minus 6 over y plus 6 times y minus 6 plus y plus 6 over y plus 6 times y minus 6. And this is equal to y. The whole thing is equal to y. OK, so um, now what am I going to do? Uh, first of all, I'm going to clear, clear away some of the space up here. Um, and then we're going to do some more simplification of this thing. And once again, we're going to see some magic occur. And what kind of magic? Well, we'll see in a second, because what we're going to do is we're, we're going to combine the first two fractions over the same 
um, common denominator and then we're going to combine the last two fractions over the same common denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. We have our fraction y minus 8 over y plus 8 times y minus 8 plus y plus 8 over y plus 8 times y minus 8. And we're going to combine these two over the common denominator. And what we're going to end up with for this one is that, um, well, the numerators add. So we get 2y over y plus 8 times y minus 8. We can actually factor this out. We're going to get y squared minus 64. And we can similarly take these two and combine them. Our numerators add, and they sum up to 2y, and our denominator becomes y squared minus 36. This is equal to y. Guess what? Both sides are multiples of y, so we can cancel out y from both sides. OK, at this point, we're just left with 2 over y squared minus 64 plus 2 over y squared minus 36 is equal to 1. And what is this? It's just a quadratic in terms of y squared. So let's cross multiply both sides to get rid of the fractions. We end up with 2 times y squared minus 36 plus 2 times y squared minus 64 is equal to y squared minus 64 times y squared minus 36. This left-hand side turns into 4y squared minus 200. The right-hand side turns into y to the power 4 minus 100 y squared plus 2,304. And thus, we get 0 is equal to y to the power 4 minus 104 y squared plus 2,504. And this is a good time for us to break out quadratic formula because we have our quadratic equation in terms of y squared. And this is actually going to be a pretty nice quadratic formula in that we won't see too much ugliness. We have y squared is equal to negative b, that's 104, plus or minus the square root of 104 squared minus 4 times 2,504 all over 2. And we can actually get rid of this denominator by knowing that 104 over 2 is equal to 52. And if you divide the thing inside the square root by 2, it's equivalent to if you put the 2 inside the square root and you divide this by 4. What you're going to end up with is y squared is equal to 52 plus or minus the square root of 52 squared minus 2,504. So y squared is equal to 52 plus or minus 52 squared is 2,704. So this just becomes a 200. Thus, we want, we have y is equal to square root of 52 plus or minus the square root of 200. And we're almost done. Because y is equal to x minus 11 and y is equal to square root of 52 plus or minus root 200, we have y is equal to x minus 11. And therefore, if you add 11 to both sides, you get x equals to 11 plus root 52 plus or minus square root of 200. We're, we're looking for the largest real solution to this equation. And thus, we take the plus. And our answer is x is equal to 11 plus root 52 plus root 200 for a final answer of 11 plus 52 plus 200, which is equal to 263. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.